Hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. We're going to make some holiday tags with some fun stamping techniques in this video. We're going to use the Good Stuff stamp set along with the coordinating dies. This set includes the two tag dies, the little images that coordinate with the stamps in the set. We have the little hearts and the string of stars and the snowflakes, and then this little triple heart cuts out that little triple heart stamp, super cute. And then we have the clinking champagne glasses. So I like to cut this out first and then stamp my glasses right on top of there. Great for anniversary or New Year's Eve or any kind of celebration card that you wanna make. So it, it's kind of, you got a lot of mileage in this one stamp set. And then we have the Here We Come a Caroling stamp set. This is one of my examples of kind of a perfect stamp set. It has background images, it has main images, it has really great sentiments, and it's just a great set to use for if you want to do elaborate scenes or super simple cards, which we're going to kind of do today. And then you see it has the little doggy in there. And then there's our color palette. And I'm going to jump right into die cutting. So for this, I cut out six tags at once. So then I don't constantly go back and forth to my die cutting machine. And then I cut out all of the images from the stamp set. And sometimes I like to die cut the images and then stamp them. And sometimes I like to stamp them and then die cut. It just kind of depends on the intricacy of the stamps and dies. And sometimes it just depends on my mood. So find what works for you and go with it. For this first tag, we are gonna use this fun, funky little tree and we're gonna do second generation stamping. So I'm gonna start with Lime Ricky and I'm gonna stamp it once, trying to get it in the center. And then I'm just gonna move over to the right a little bit and stamp it again. So you see, I got a much lighter shade of Lime Ricky. So again, this is called second generation stamping and it gives you more mileage for your ink pad. So you get more than one shade of the same color when you do this technique. And then we'll move to Fiesta Blue and Be Mine. I love this non-traditional color palette. I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> Though mostly at home, I decorate with traditional uh, holiday colors, but I do really love a non-traditional color palette. I think it's bright and cheerful and just makes me smile. For the next step, I'm grabbing the greeting. This long Merry Christmas is perfect for this tag. It just fits straight over those trees. Really simple. Just stamp it in midnight and I'm done. So here is the first one I did. I just went straight from the ink pad to the, the tag and I didn't do that stamping off so you can see the difference between. So for the next tag, we're gonna use the frame stamp that was made to coordinate with the, the set of dies. And we're just gonna line it up on the Misty, pick it up with the door, and then I'm gonna use my rock and red ink pad. And using my Misty ensures that my stamp stays straight because it's kind of a thin stamp so you could um, position it in a way that warps the shape of it. So I made sure that I just laid it flat and then I was able to stamp it perfectly. I'm also going to do the masking technique. So I'm stamping this label onto a piece of just notebook paper and then I'm going to cut it out. So if you're not familiar with the masking technique, I'm going to take this piece of paper. I'm going to lay it over my first stamp. It's going to protect it and cover it so that when I stamp my next stamp, it will not stamp on top of the first stamp, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm gonna show you in a second. But you wanna cut right inside the line so that there's no gap between your two stamps. I also cut through it and then it kind of was wonky, so I took another little piece of paper and just kind of glued it on there to keep that piece together. I'm adding it over the top of my first stamp and then I'm gonna stamp my tree. And then I'm going to not ink it again and I'm just gonna stamp it again. This second generation stamping, and you can see that my trees look like they're behind the frame. Pretty cool. It's a great way to get a dimensional look on your projects without stamping and cutting and die cutting and layering. So now I'm grabbing that fun little star stamp and I'm just adding some stars. And then I wanna add some little carolers. So I'm gonna use my Misty again just to make sure that my placement is good. And I'm gonna line these up sitting right on top of that red frame, the little girl and the little dog, cause that's what I have in my house. I have little girls. Well, they're not so little anymore. They are all teenagers. Fun times, three teenage girls. <laughs> and then we've got Eli. So we'll just stamp those down and look at how sweet and adorable they are. I, I love them. I just love those little carolers. And then I'll add in my greeting, Silent Night. And that is all for this tag. I made another one just like it using turquoise. And there's the uh, comparison between the two. 
For the final tag, I'm gonna use some die cuts. I have this big, fluffy, awesome treat, and I'm just stamping it straight onto the die cut. And then without re-inking, I'm going to the tag. And then I'm gonna stamp it on the tag and then to the side. So I have that second generation technique again. And then I'm gonna use my Versamark ink pad just to ink up the bottom of the tag and then I'm gonna add Wanderlust embossing glitter on top of it. So the Wanderlust embossing glitter is a special glitter that WOW makes for us and it is a clear, sparkly, amazing powder. And I'm just gonna heat it and it's gonna give some glistening snow effect to the bottom of this tag. Then I wanna add a park bench. This is also from the Here We Come A Caroling stamp set. And this is one of those stamps that you can use for year round occasions. There's a little squirrel also that goes with the bench and it's so cute. I made a thank you card with it once and I could not find my icing on the cake ink pad. So I'm improvising and I just took a little bit of, of a tape runner and added it to the back of that bench, adhered it to another piece of cardstock and added it to my Misty, lined up my stamp and then I can stamp it multiple times. And every time I stamp, it gets a little bit darker. So I'm using my over coffee ink, but it's going to be a little darker. And then I have a darker bench and it's so cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Misty again for placement of my greetings. So I'm doing happy holidays and the happy, I'm just gonna um, just stamp on there real quick using one of our small acrylic blocks. If you haven't tried our blocks yet, you must run over to the shop and grab them. They are custom made for us. We design them and they are our version of block perfection. <laughs> they have nice grids, they're lightweight for their size, um, the indentations for your fingers are really comfortable, and they're just really great blocks. So now assembly, I'm going to take that tree and add some dimensional adhesive to it, add it to the tag, add the little bench, and I have a super cute little happy holidays tag. I want this on a present. <laughs> so I'll just add a little bit of twine, and I added it to all of my uh, tags actually. And here is a re review of them. So I have the non-traditional with the pink. I guess adding that Fiesta blue in there is non-traditional as well. But this, the one I added red, and then you can see the difference between the red and blue. They're both super fun. And then the different tags with the die cut trees. So I hope you were inspired by today's holiday tags and you'll go out and make some of your own and make those holiday gifts extra special this season. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave me a note below and let me know which tag was your favorite. I'd love to hear. And have a very Merry Christmas, but be on the lookout because there's more videos coming. Thanks for being here. Have an awesome day.